In this video, I will share with you five marketing mistakes that roofing companies make. I see them all over the internet. I understand them. I want to help you to avoid those costly mistakes. I understand that a lot of contractors became contractors by accident, drop out of school, pick up a summer job, did not plan on doing it for a long time and then got addicted to money, it paid well, paid for the bills. I make it rain. <laughs> now you want to be a contractor. Usually it goes like this. First thing that came to your mind could be your initials, could be something stupid sometimes, could be something what everybody else is doing. Well, I highly, highly recommend you guys take your name seriously if you want people to take your business seriously. You cannot dominate your market. You cannot really grow if you don't have a catchy name that people will remember. If you have a bad name, it'll cost you much more to advertise your company to get leads or for people to remember who you are and what you do. Or construction, two similar names, but exterior has been used more than construction. So I wanna focus on exteriors here for a second. I know a lot of you will be fighting me like Dimitri, but I don't just do roofing. I also do gutters. I also do siding. I also do insulation. Good for you, do those. Start a GBA, start a separate company for that. The question of the day is how much business do you really want in that category? If you want more roofing jobs, you have to have roofing in your description. Can you be successful without it? Yes, you can. You can be successful with any name. And if you really want to dominate your category and if you want to save money on marketing, add the name. Recently, I visited Charleston and they're killing it. Like they have so many organic searches because when people are searching for Charleston roofing, boom, they're right there on top of the search. They didn't pay tens of thousands of dollars for it. They just organically showed up. No one is searching for exteriors. When they're going to need a roofer, they're going to type roofing contractor near me. If you have exteriors, People not gonna be typing exterior contractor near me. In marketing, you don't want that keyword in your name, in your marketing campaign, in your marketing efforts. I want something that works. And sometimes it's little things like that that will create a huge success later. I've changed quite a few companies from exteriors to roofing and every single time we have massive results. We want to know right away, like we are, we're the roofers. The roofing company, the roofers it's not exteriors. That's right. Back in the day, my company, Storm Group Roofing, used to have two, 300 searches per month. People were seeing our yard signs, our trucks. They literally were Googling our name. For each dollar that I spent, you spending three or four, and we're trying to get the same results. I see it all the time and I tell guys all the time, you cannot be all service to all people. You also cannot market too many products. Recently, I have a contractor calling me saying he wants to sell four shingles. He wanted to sell Owings Corning. He wanted to sell Certainty, GF, Atlas, and he wanted to add Malarkey. I'm like, how are you gonna market all of those brands? You wanna stand out for something. You wanna be expert, true expert in one, maybe two brands. I see contractors all the time just completely neglecting review again. My work speaks for itself. You know, I have referrals. Well, referrals are online now. You're only as big as you are big on the internet. And if you don't have tons of online reviews, you're not gonna have tons of online referrals. Here's the catch. If you're not asking for positive reviews, bad reviews are coming your way, whether you like it or not. I don't care how good you think you are, you're not gonna please everyone. Stuff happens. Those negative reviews, not gonna have a balance with the positive reviews, and you're gonna become one or two star contractor online. And when that happened, you're done. Nobody wants to take their wives to the restaurant with the two star reviews. Nobody's gonna want to spend 20, 30,000 dollars with a contract who has one or two star reviews online. So 
have generated way over a thousand reviews for my companies, sometimes you have to ask. I don't recommend you bribing your customers for it. That's prohibited. Do quality work, ask for reviews, figure out a game. It is a game, but you can get them. Before you spend money on radio, TV, or before you hire that guru who's going to do something for you, try it for yourself. YouTube is free. Facebook is free. Even Google Guarantee, which will get you jobs, is pretty much free to sign up. Then you have to pay Google Direct without middleman. You can record testimonial with your homeowners by yourself and publish it on a website. The mistake that I see here that the roofing business owners are making, they're hiring these marketers, throwing money at the problem, saying, hey, I'm going to give you two, three thousand dollars, just fix it, just make my phone ring. They might fix your problem for a very short period of time, but the moment you lost that momentum, you're done. First, you work on your reviews, your content marketing, and then the content will work for you. If you have good articles, couple press releases, if your local news company, news channel featured you one time, you will be able to use that clip for your advantage. You just have to figure out what stories around you can you share. Stories of your homeowners, what problems are you solving? You're telling me that you're about to do a couple hundred jobs this year and you cannot share one or two stories? I believe in content marketing. It's very organic. As a matter of fact, that's what we do at Roofing School. I teach contractors how to create content, how to be comfortable in front of the camera, how to do company story videos, how to do Facebook videos, how to do YouTube YouTube videos. All of that is inside a roofing school. Don't be a loser. Don't make those five marketing mistakes. Comment below if you agree with these mistakes. What other mistakes you guys are have made or are making right now? Look at the mirror, admit your wrongs, start with a clean sheet, come up with a good strategy and do what's right. Good work in marketing is not expensive. It takes discipline. You have to be consistent. And if you do good marketing for about a year, maybe two, it only gets easier. Good marketing and branding in general will work for you. So first you have to spend one or two years building that marketing package, marketing materials, more content, like film that video, write that article. And then those pieces of content will be working for you for years to come. So don't make those mistakes. Like this video if you want to see more videos like this on our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.